In the middle of the night, I smoke some dope just to let it go. Baby, let me drive the boat. Freedom, nigga, then death row. In the end, I carry all my sorrow, all my agony. Don't switch up, nigga. Yeah, I know they really not for me. They not. We'll talk about God, but I already know what that nigga got for me. Bitch, wanna go on shopping spree. Drug gon' take my misery. Take that hoe, no fuckery. What more is in store for me? What more do they want from me? Been lonely for eternity. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Oh, no. What is going on? I'm your host, WAP, aka WAP Sword, and I hope you guys are having a good day, good morning, and a very holly jolly Merry Christmas, man. Today is Christmas or Happy Holidays. You feel what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all don't celebrate Christmas, or maybe you celebrate Hanukkah or another tradition, or even if you celebrate Christmas another day before Christmas. It's Happy Holidays to each and every one of y'all. But as you can tell by the title, two years in waiting, Playboy Cardi drop. Christmas Day. Now, as to why he dropped Christmas Day with this type of album, I don't know myself. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not really a Playboy Cardi fan. I'm more of a Playboy Cardi listener. So, with my opinion, take it with a grain of salt. I will advise that before him. As you can tell by the title, we are about to go into probably the most toxic Reddit you can ever go into. We're about to go into Playboy Cardi's Reddit. But before we do that, though, I just thought I would give my my little spiel about the whole album in general, you know, even with the merch and stuff like that. Look, Cardi. Cardi, let me talk to you real quick. Let me talk to you real quick. Jordan, right? That's your name? Jordan? Jordan Cardi or something like that? <sighs> Rockstar made six words said in the first song. Go to the moon. Now that song, that song was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. The whole beat and everything, you only said a couple words at the end. Now we're gonna let that slide, right? Honestly, all the stop breathing. Bueno, I think that's bueno, bino, beno, bueno, sorry. But uh, that was pretty good. Jump out the house. All right, metamorphosis. You know, people thought this was that Kid Cudi sign. You know, you know, that, that song. One day, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna Slayer. Okay, okay, okay. It was all right, no sleep. Once again, the same sound, you know. I'm gonna say this off the jump, okay? The beats, so far we're at, we're at number eight, all right? The beats carried the album. Hey, hey, what had to be said has to be said. The beats carried the whole album. Even though the beats had that little grimy, you know what I'm talking about, that little grimy sound effect in the in the in the background kind of like airy but like you know what i'm saying that annoyed a lot of people i'm not gonna lie to you new tank cut it teen x don't let future ever do the baby voice okay the best thing he could have ever done was that um king king's dead man i think that was i was like I, I, you know, shut up. that alexa play rock music Bunny, daddy, stop on me now. Bunny, daddy, alexa stop. stop man my bad this was pretty good you know what i'm saying this was pretty good vamp anthem Okay, now look, I'm gonna say this. Okay, we're about to get into the second half. I'm gonna say this right now. The second half is better than the first half. I know we're all thinking it, but no one wanted to say it, so I'll say it because I got the balls to do it. The second half went far more superior. Far more superior. Look, you got man. We're gonna start at 11. We got man. That was solid. Vamp Anthem. That was solid. New Neon. You can tell this is a leap. You can tell it's a leap because the neon song that was leap kind of got the same flow. Now he went four for four here. You got man, bam anthem, new neon, control. That was a solid run right there. And then you kind of slick. And I'm saying you went below punk monk. I don't really remember that too much, but I'll just say it was solid because the second half is just far more superior. On that time, probably good. King vamp. Nah, place. That was it. That was it. Sky. That was it. That was it. Over. That was it. That was. I love you. I hate you. That was it. And feel like dying. Die for the. Uh, die for God was okay. Not playing was okay. Feel like dying. That was a good. That was an okay way to wrap it up. Now my honest hot take, and all of these songs, right? I don't know why Cardi thought this would be okay to do, especially on Christmas day, or not even Christmas day, especially on such a significant day in the whole year. Cause personally, I think he should have dropped or at least took more time to produce songs that sound like, um, that sound like control, 
New Neon, Meh, what else? Bueno, uh, Bueno, even, even, even Go to the Moon. Like those type of songs where, you know what I'm saying? Get your head bopping a little bit. Should have hit back in the stew, call up here, call up Metro, call up whoever. Cause whoever, whoever produced these beats, cut them off the team immediately, immediately cut them off the team. Bro, you have to go though, say goodbye. Please, because look man, all I'm gonna say is Travis Scott, J. Cole, Drake, Kanye, even Lil Uzi or Lil Baby or Gunna, even, even, even Lil Key. Them shot to break their eyes on me. 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 Get him. We gotta talk about that, my brother. That's not acceptable. Uh uh. They wouldn't do this. I'm not gonna lie to you. They would not do this because the crazy thing is, people were saying for Feel Like Dying that this is location part two or even what's it called? Long time part two. I'm gonna stop you right there. It's not a part two. It didn't even deserve the part two ending. That's my little hot take on Whole Lot of Red. The album cover, you know, he picked it. I don't know why he picked that specific album cover when there's tons and tons of other album covers that fans make. Fans made. Now I do know the album cover is homage to Slash, which is a rock star magazine. And you know, we know Cardi's a rock star. You know what I'm saying? He, he got that title. Now we're about to head into probably the most toxic Reddit that I'm ever about to head into. And I'll be on Reddit a few times. You know what I'm saying? A few times just lurking. If, if my channel gets striped, All right, you guys, we made it to the Reddit. We all know Cardi fans are, are I don't want to say delusional because that gets them triggered. <laughs> but they're very active. We'll say that they're very active in their community and you know, Everyone has their ride or die fans, but Cardi fans are a different breed. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now let's hop right into it, man. Okay, now this post right here, I don't know if y'all know, my man Cartier is a, is a, he's a deadbeat father. And I hate this, I hate to say that, but it's true. You know what I'm saying? Iggy was exposing hella stuff on Twitter, saying Cardi was playing PS5 with Uzi, didn't even sign the birth certificate. And he was talking about he wants to be there for Onyx, look. That's his business. I ain't got, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be me though. I ain't gonna lie. It wouldn't be Travis though. It wouldn't be Travis though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now we got a little post here. He says, this is tough. I think Cardi's career is really in on the edge of ending. All that shit with Iggy, the somewhat reasonable, but also bandwagon hate towards the album. It feels like everyone waited for this day to completely ruin Cardi's career. I don't know if this is karma, or all one elaborate scheme, but this seems planned. Now let, let's let's see the comments. I mean, he kind of brought this on himself. Iggy gave him so many chances. Kind of true. Exactly true. True. Still, bro, no one's gonna be like, let me play. <laughs> let me play that. <laughs> Still, nobody's gonna be like, let me play that new Cardi. Oh wait, he's a deadbeat dad. I can't play his shit. <laughs> <laughs> because Playboy Cardi is not a good person. A whole lot of situation is fucked. Cardi fans are delusional, bro. This shit is just getting out of hand. Now, hey, look, this post, man, I can't say Cardi's career is ending because people were waiting for a whole lot of rap for two years. I'm pretty sure that's the same time that Eternal Take was being waited on. Two years. He is a deadbeat, though, and the album is ass. I can't lie. It's not ass, but. I don't know another word to use besides ass, so I'm gonna just call it ass, all right? This album is so good. Okay. Y'all tripping. Y'all a tri Okay, let's check his English first. Y'all a tripping over yourselves. So it's not what anyone expected, but this shit a lapse. And it's real. Not appealing to shit. Love you, Cardi. Bro, what the fuck did you just say? Bro. 
I actually, I actually don't understand where the hate's coming from. People expecting something that didn't happen, so they are sad and angry and confused. Okay, I mean, casuals and people thinking about a whole lot of red version one. Remember when people trashed Astro World because it wasn't rodeo? Same fucking scenario. Okay. <laughs> Let, let me let me calm down. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I'm a rager. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a dedicated rager. Now I'm not gonna be a dickhead rager. Okay. I'm gonna use reasonable logic here. Astro World is a two-time listen. Okay. Astro World, you listen it to the first time. Okay, it's cool. The only track to really catch your eyes there is the one with Drake, Sicko Mode. Even me personally, I had to go back and listen again. I listen again. I feel like I'm floating. I feel like I'm in outer space. You can't do that with a whole lot of red, okay? Yes, it's different. Yes, it's alternative, but an artist's job is to appeal to the audience, is it not? And I'm pretty sure the majority of his audience are casual listeners who are bandwagons. Now that's a hot take. That's a hot take. You take that how you want up. It's a whole lot of ass. It's a whole instant. Oh my god, oh my god. He said it. It's a oh, it's an instant classic. Okay, let, let me okay. How you spell that? How you spell the def, definition of of uh classic? I spell definition wrong, get off me. Classic. Classic. Judged over a period of time to be the highest quality and outstanding of its kind instant classic nine minutes ago when did whole lot of red release december 25th 2020 it's 2 30 it's 2 23 right now instant classic the definition of classic is it judged over time use your fucking brain my guy use your brain okay i'm not i'm not, I'm not even gonna do it like that i'm not even gonna do it like that Okay, so this is a prime example of being um, ignorant in bliss. Okay, he says, uh, actually, he says, we're, we're gonna say his, his name is Jack GR underscore HD. Okay, Jack. Jack says, a whole lot of rap will be a classic in a month. Y'all hating for no reason, album five. Just one or two tracks wasn't so good in my opinion. Album very, wait, what? Just one or two tracks wasn't so good in my opinion. Album was very good. Waiting for the deluxe. What is your opinion? Now let's, let's let, before I, before I speak on it, let's see some other people's uh, comments. It'll take time for motherfuckers to realize it's actually good, but they ain't ready for it yet. They can't. <laughs> They can't take raw punk shit. Bro, what is your English? Exactly what I was thinking. I'm not gonna lie to you. Thank you. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you. It won't. Watch the whole opinion switch up in a couple of weeks. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of people. Okay, this is this is my take on this. Okay, first one, first off, erase the whole post because it's not just one or two songs, it's two to the square root of three, okay? I'ma just, I'm just leave it at that. This is a delusional Cardi fan. This is a, a Cardi fan that thinks every single thing you drop is, is fire. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. Okay, so we have another, um, a lost Cardi fan, okay? He says, this is from um, I Brundon. He says, hear me out. This isn't the real album. <laughs> this is his throwaway. Do I think it's a throwaway? Absolutely not. I'll take 10 bangers from Cardi any day of the week. But think about it. There's no mentioned features, none of the leaks that would have millions of streams in the first day. 
He pisses everyone off. There isn't no such thing as bad publicity. I think I said that. Publicity. 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 Anyways. And he drops a whole other album next Friday as a deluxe. And it has no skips. Brendan. I need you to. I need you to snap out your simulation, okay? Because the first comment is, this is delusion. And that is facts. You are delusional. You are ignorant and bliss, okay? I need you to wake up, okay? Next person says, I did like what he said about no publicity is bad publicity. But people coming into his follow-up will have no low expectations and may be very uh, pleasantly surprised. I hope, he I hope he drops a deluxe part two with safer songs slash leaks or remasters or remasters the album literally and by cutting out a couple filler songs definitely not a throwaway project though but i think cardi knew this wasn't going to be accepted at first but he just did what he wanted to do very reasonable you're a smart guy like i was thinking this was my theory okay this album is cardi testing himself okay he's testing which of his fans are his fans you know what i'm saying this is definitely a uh uh a reach for Cardi as an artist, but him as a person, he thinks this is okay. Which I can't, I can't say if it's okay or not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a fan. I'm a listener. What he really should have done is drop an album that has songs that his casual fans and his bandwagon fans love. And I'm not saying to appeal to the masses, but appeal to the masses. You know what I'm saying? Because the masses will carry you high, and then. And only then can he drop an album like this because the album he would have dropped previously of the songs that the masses would have wanted would have stayed. They would have said, oh, Cardi's that guy now. He been that guy, but he that guy now. Okay, y'all, this is the last and very last Reddit post I'm gonna review. And this is by William24K. He says, I don't know what the fuck to do with Cardi. Everything that happened today was weird, sad, and disgusting. First off, we get a half done album with loose ends, which surprises his team of producers who worked hard with him to make an actual masterpiece. His whole camp is either mad or happy. We get yay out of nowhere. People now speculating he wanted to change the album so drastically. The album has a lot of shady bars pointing towards Cardi being in a very tough spot at the moment. He's clearly not feeling too well. Then now the whole Iggy situation, I don't need to say how disgusting Cardi, I don't need to say how disgusting Cardi, it's just ridiculous how he's like that as a person. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't need, mm, I don't need to say how disgusting Cardi is. It's just the ridiculous how he's like that as a person. I feel like just avoiding Cardi from now on and only focusing on what Spotify, on what's on Spotify. It's just tough because it really looks like the end of his career. Seeing him this, <laughs> see, seeing him this down bad is pretty hard to just walk away from. This is a true Cardi fan, okay? And I say that in means of he actually sees what's going on, okay? Now, everything he said here was facts, but the way he said it seems humble. It seems like he actually has a brain in his head, okay? Now, let's see the comments. Let's see the comments. Dead ass would not, dead ass would not surprise me if he ends up stopping music and disappearing, especially after this whole Iggy shit. LMAO, agree. Get the revenue from music and live off that somewhere. Yeah, the ending of the album seemed like the end of air. I really hope it isn't though. Maybe the baby vibes was off and he noticed that, and that. Uh, maybe the baby vibes was off and he noticed that, and instead of putting himself in an uncomfortable situation, he just minded his business. Now he's getting shit for it. The crazy thing is he's trying to excuse him for being a deadbeat dad. And he's probably like 14. I'm pretty sure he's like, he, ha he has to be no older than the age of 18. Cause there's no way he's saying being in an uncomfortable spot should excuse you from disappearing on your family. 
I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna give it attention. But maybe the baby vibes was okay. He same thing. Yeah, my daughter had a terrible vibe. I just left her in the woods. That's basically what he's saying. That's basically what these two comments right here are saying. Honestly, y'all, to wrap it up for the video, Cardi, this is this is Cardi's worst album. I can definitely say that. I definitely think a lot of his fans can say that it is. Although they wanna, you know trick themselves into thinking that this is better than self-entitled and dial it which it is definitely not because if he plays this at a concert i'm not gonna lie it's not gonna do as good as that one scene when cardi was playing rip fredo and oh my gosh i'm gonna I'm put the i'm gonna put the clip up but yeah, 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 what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is probably Cardi's worst album, and this is just coming from a, a, a casual listener, okay? I'm not trying to hate on Cardi or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I know he he, he wants to change himself. He's more of a, a, I don't know, okay? I really, I don't know what the fuck to say about, uh, about Cardi, but I do know that one thing is for sure, that Cardi definitely needs to drop a deluxe. He needs to drop the, cause, I'm not gonna say he capped about the features, but I'm pretty sure the features with uh, Travis Scott, Post Malone, Kanye, Young Nudie, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a deluxe of the album and that will be the album people recognize as Cardi's biggest album. Who knows, I don't know for sure, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Also be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a merry, jolly, holly, holidays man i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one be safe i'm out peace out I started from the bottom The losses that I took I ain't forgot them I'm grateful because They turned me to a problem You tell them you love them But they ain't got you Like you got them Funny how Bishop Hugging on Raheem Mother but he shot him You wasn't there when I was down So how I'm supposed to trust you You fucking all these niggas But expecting me to cuff you I hope you know I meant it When I told you that I love you But you fucked me over anyway So now it's always fuck you